Alright folks, welcome to this video. I start this one here at the beautiful Perlner's Brig folks. I've been here before in a video, but no for a while. I think the last time I came here I cycled here, but today I've got the car up there at the car park. This is such a cool spot. It's always worth having a little walk down the riverside here. It's like walking about in a postcard like. Quite low. Okay, the bit I'm sitting on right now is actually under the water a lot of the time when the storm conditions. This is like a natural sandstone bit I'm standing on here. Looks like some of these other big stones have been washed down the river. Somebody's had a cool little camping spot here, look at this. They've probably been chilling here with a couple of beers, getting bit by midges, looking at this river. Oh, they've had two fires. There's been a secondary one here. Yeah, when the river's this low, it is a cool camping spot here, like. But this spot is normally pretty busy at the weekends and that, like, so... Better camping in a more secluded spot, I would have thought. One time I came here in a storm and I couldn't even get down the side of this river. So it's crazy to see the difference at this time of year when you can walk right down. Most locations today is extremely windy, folks, so. At least down here in the trees we're sheltered from the wind. Look at this here, it's amazing. It's like a little miniature waterfall here. This is so cool folks. Real exploring once again here on the channel folks. Look at this, it's like grass stuck in the tree. That shows you the height the river has been at when the grass is away up here in the tree. The rivers around here can be ferocious. See I think this is all new since the last time I was here. Massive chunks of sandstone been washed down the river. The river's clear today, the, the water. Sometimes after a storm it can be pure brown with the peat from the hills. Look at this here, this is a wonderland. Oh. Litter alert folks. You get it everywhere, look at this, somebody's been sitting here. Leaving their litter. It's a terrible scar on the landscape that. Look at this view down the river, it's incredible. That's like a little... What's it like? It's like a little pond kind of bit there that the river flows through. It looks deep here and it's swirling. There'll be some crazy undercurrents at that point because like the river flows through such a narrow area the undercurrents will be incredible. Probably in some like extreme river conditions. It'll be right up at this height I'm, I'm at now. That's how these rocks are all worn through at this height. The force of nature. It's amazing. Look at this, the ivy's climb up that tree.
Look at the way the stone's worn here from the river. But you can see it's like sandstone and then those stones are in like layers in the sandstone. So when all this rock was forming that shows you the layers. It's like it's almost been compressed. The stones are compressed into the layers. Colours. The rocks are incredible the way like you can see all the different colours once the wear. Look at this one. The force and the sound of the river probably doesn't actually come over on the video. When you're here in the middle of this habitat here, it's like, it's incredible. There's probably some fish kicking a bit in there, some brown fruit. if he just takes over in places like this. Look at that, it looks like there's actually a little cave in there. It's just the way the stones have landed though, I think it's, it just looks like a miniature entrance to a cave. What a scene up here. So they've had another wee campfire here. There's probably been a good few people camping in here over this past summer period. Over the next few weeks now, uh, the trees are starting to change colour. Eventually this will all just be orange and autumn's here, folks. For the American viewers, fall is here. It's some steep stairs out of that place, folks. What a location. We'll go for a walk along the Coroner's Brig because it's not far along this path here. Oh, look at these bushes. Look at these bushes, folks. Red squirrel right there. Did you see that? That was incredible folks. I was looking at this bush here with these red current things. I'm sure these are the things that's itchy. When we were at like primary school we used to put these down people's back and burst them and it gets really itchy. But when I was videoing this I just turned around and the little squirrel was just sitting looking at me. The little red squirrel. That's so cool. He went sprinting down this path. He'll be like off ski. I managed to turn the camera around, so I hope, I hope it came out well. See, it just shows you it's worth going out for a walk sometimes to see nature like that. A squirrel that was just literally like three foot away from me. We've got all these ferns here. We're down at the side of Perner's Bridge here, look at it. A big ore of metal thing, but a brig no less. I think because of this bridge here, the whole location is just named Perner's Brig. The water's crystal clear. This path doesn't actually go too far up here, I don't think. Last time I came this way it was the winter, and I, I thought the path didn't lead to anywhere. So let's have a look. I'm sure if you go that way it takes you down to the riverside. We'll see where this site, this way it goes. Yeah, it goes further up. This is cool. 
It's like being one once again, folks. It's like being in a jungle. Scotland at this time of year, you get spider webs all over your face when you're walking through trees. It looks like there's a lot of fresh erosion here at this corner. Oh, there's an apple tree over here, hanging with apples, over the top of the river. Those apples will just fall into the water and float away. There'll be apple trees growing all down the side of the river, wherever they end up. If you had a house at the riverside further downstream, you could hear a wee basket getting free apples. So we're in full adventure mode here, folks. We're going to see where this other path ends up. I'm sure it does just end up at the side of the river, but still, we'll go for a look. This is a far better camping area at this side. This is cool. So sorry about that there, folks. I dropped you. So like I was saying, this is a far better campsite at this side. spot down here. This is so cool. This is why it's worth exploring folks. Look at this scene here with the river meandering round behind me. It looks so cool here but it's just like brown and you can see the stones through the water. The path continues on along here. Oh, it's into the dark trees. Look at this, this is real deal. It looks like the path splits in two here. Look at these fungi here, folks. Spot. It's not been used this year, I don't think. That's been the fire pit. The rocks are all worn here. It's like the river's been higher for sure at one time. It's been wearing at this. Maybe just in mega storms every now and again over the years. Oh, I thought this was a path. Look, there's a tree right in the middle of it. Look at this tree here. like something out of a horror film. There's all these crazy like sandstone cliff faces here. This is a little path that I've not actually been down here. Oh look at this spider here right, it's sitting in the middle of its web. That's what, I'm risking myself going down here like. Yeah, this is the next little bit down that I've not been to. This right here is a brand new spot on the channel. I've never walked in this piece of land in my life. It's just solid sandstone bedrock with like stone seams running through it and like lines. It's covered with moss though, which makes it hard to actually see it. Look at this tree, it's, it's growing up and down. This is so cool when the river's low. It's a whole new perspective on this spot. The 
because it's so warm I feel like just jumping in there to cool off. The water is freezing cold so even in the summer here in Scotland. It looks deep here. I love this like wild, untamed landscape. This land here is formed by the river wearing away at the ground until it gets to the level of the rock. See, some of this is just driftwood that's collected here beside this tree. Here's a little Christmas tree growing here, look. Oh, just put my hand in a spider web. A little Christmas tree growing here on the side of the the rock. What's this floating? Anyway, I'm going to go back up this path, avoiding all spiders. It's sometimes horrible walking in those riverside locations. Because there's all kinds of beasties live in the moist, damp air. It's like an ideal habitat for them. This has been a perfect location out of the wind here today, and, and amongst all these trees. Because out in the open, it's just miserable, like wind blowing, strong gusts. Look at this unusual looking tree uh, plant, I should say. That's a pretty crazy looking plant there. This whole hill in front of me here is raspberry bushes. The amount of raspberry bushes I've seen on my recent explorers is unreal. There's just berries everywhere, even here in the middle of the path. This is like a crossroads of paths, folks. What we're saying. Private. River West Water. Camping and fires prohibited. We've seen probably like the remains of four camping spots. And it says camping prohibited. So there, that's a belter, folks. At least they're lenient on the rules, because there's been no harm done. Look at this view. I wasn't even going to bother stopping here when I was driving past and I'm glad I did. So it's been cool just to hear a little walk about and we saw that squirrel which was epic. All the ferns at this side have been battered by the weather. When the heavy rain comes it just pelts them. Even these ones, the season's almost over for them. They'll be spreading their spores and then going pure brown and dying off. Tons of, tons of berries. It's been a good year for all that in Scotland. It's been a good year for crops. So, this sign tells you about the dangers I faced to bring you this episode. It says, warning, the path to Perners Brig runs along the top of a deep gorge with a sheer drop. Please take care. We took care, folks, and look. We're all right. This tree's put up with some punishment over the years. You can see how somebody's hacked it with an axe or a knife. So many branches on it. Looks to me like it could be a, a Sitka spruce, but I could be wrong, folks. I'm sure both of these trees here are the same type. I think at one time this here was like a bit of a landfill area here. Maybe be the local like ladder for the Edgel area. Edgel's the nearest village to this place. And then it's been covered over with like earth. That's the impression I got. Because on a previous explore when I was going alongside of the river there, there was a lot of 
like old household kind of waste and debris, like bits of old sinks and stuff like that. So it could just be people maybe just throw loads of stuff over there because that's how it is sometimes. Look at this tree, it's so unusual. So many people have climbed this tree. The bark's almost like worn off it. I've never even noticed this tree before. All these trees look like you can get pretty high if you were climbing them. I'm going to do it. Oh, there's loads of glass now and down here on the ground. A couple of picnic benches as well. It's funny because the path comes down here and then it goes at a 90 degree angle or more and then it comes along. It's like, how no just put the path here straight down? One of these picnic benches must have been down here at one time. Look at this, the bench is actually melted. Somebody must have been trying to get their haggis rich bile that day. Crazy toadstool there, that is mental. I didn't even notice that when I came in about. I'll end this little video here. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one very soon.